this is Laura GP and in this video today we're going to look at one of the new features that came out in the last few months, the Q&A feature, the new Q&A visual. So here we are in Power BI, having a quick look at the data first and we're looking at data from the Titanic passengers. So we've got a number of columns here, we've got their name, sex, age, um, what ticket they were using, how much they paid, etc, etc. And the last column, which ends up being one I use quite a lot, is did they survive or not? So their survival. Right, let's move into the report view. Now in here, we can either go and off the visuals pane, pick the Q&A button, or you can just double click on the background of your visuals pane and up will come a Q&A box. So let's start with really simple straightforward stuff okay count of and it even suggests counter passengers so counter passenger and there we are we've got that many passengers now it knows it's a passenger because my table is called passenger okay so that's where it's got that name from so let's go for another one i'm going to double click again and let's go for a distinct count. Helps if I could spell distinct. Distinct count of ticket. Because if a family bought tickets, they all came under the same ticket number. So there we are. We get a count of ticket a bit less than the count of passengers. If I switch that into an actual card. So turn this Q&A into a standard visual. If I click that button, it gives me a card visual. And if I look in the filters pane, I get count of ticket, which is what we expect. And if I look in the fields section of that visual and under the field there, if you look, you get count distinct. So that's what we expect. That's what we asked for. Now, if I haven't saved or closed and reopened my visual, I can change that back to a Q&A and it will remember the ticket. OK, so we can count passengers and we can do a distinct count of passengers. So let's do another one. So count of passengers by and it's suggesting them and I'm actually going to go for the top suggestion there by survival and there you go it gives you a little bar chart showing you how many died and how many survived okay so these are pretty straightforward questions how about a question that uses a term it doesn't understand so let's go for a new one and let's go for how many passengers by gender survived okay now it's trying to work out how to get through that how to how to go with it so if I, it's got a gender term there that is red and underlined okay so if I click on there it says gives you a suggestion and actually it's a pretty good suggestion how many passengers by sex survived it's got a term it, it guesses which it means but you can actually put in define gender and it gives you this teach Q&A window and I can click submit in there and it highlights the red part and it asks define the terms Q&A didn't understand. So gender refers to sex and click save and let's close that window. And there you are, it's thinking about it. And there you are, I have got a small chart there showing how many survived were male and female. Okay. So that's okay. We've managed to define that gender means the sex of the person. So let's go for a new one. Let's go for a new question. How many adult passengers? OK, so if I press return on there, it can't quite work it out. It's got the total number of passengers. If I click on adult, 
We're not sure what you mean. Try another term. Define adult. So submit. Now this time the question is slightly different. It's got a box in the middle. So passengers that have blank are adult. So they have an age greater than, I suppose, greater than or equal to, that would make more sense, 18. Okay, and as soon as that's put in and it's happy with that, it gives you a save button. The preview might not come up as fast as you want. It might not come up at all. So we're just going to click save and close that box and give that a refresh, go wait for that to refresh. And there you are, you've got 892, which is pretty good. To come up with how many child passengers, I've tried many ways, it cannot work out the word child. I think it has some other meanings in here. Okay, but let's just go for one more example. And how many posh passengers survived? Okay, and posh passengers define posh. And we're going to go with posh is that the class they were in equals one. They were first class. Click save. Close that. And there we go. We get a card. So if you want to change anything in those terms, in those settings, if you click on the little cogwheel in the top right hand corner, It'll take you into the Q&A setup. Now in here, I'm not going to have a look at review questions today, but in there there's the teach terms, which is where we were going into to type in questions. It remembers the last one we did there. The terms that you teach it are under manage terms. And there we are. We can see that we have saved an adult, we've saved gender, and we've saved posh. The cards that come up, okay, so we've got our posh passengers survived. If I convert that into a card, you can see that the filters that are applied, I get P class is one, that's the posh part, and survival is survived, okay? So that's how I get to my 200, by using filters. So in my video today, I've taken you through some Q&A ideas and some Q&A features. Remember, it is still parts of this are still in preview they're still very new so let me know how you get on and if you've got any good examples and some good ideas i'd love to hear them if you haven't already please press subscribe take care now mm -hmm.